So that was really mad, but that's really the what's up, guys? Howdy, howdy, people. Welcome to another edition here on Bags Blog. Yes, yeah? so today we are discussing the state of the Serbian economy. Oh, yes, I know, I know. The Serbs love to talk about their country, even in the negatives, you know. Yeah, but when it comes to a foreigner doing that, mm -mm, don't go that. Don't go that. But you know, guys, this is relevant for all of us. So, of course, we are discussing it today. And, of course, I know, we were, I am welcoming all your comments, your views. Okay, feel free to um, actually tell us what really you think because this that i'm going to discuss is basically what i think so of course bring your opinions on board and also just please try and keep your comments like very respectful because it's not that you're respecting me and really i don't care but the truth is youtube will take down your comments if it has like insults in it and which does not help because of course i want to keep your comments and so yeah so communicate your comment communicate your point and just make sure that it's respectful and that's fine yeah what are you guys so we'll be discussing very obvious indicators so things like for instance you get into the country you're going to see like very very obvious indicators so you see you see the trend and you're like oh, okay this is the direction that it's going this is where it's going not anything like a research work or anything no 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 so very obvious indicators so my first point is that the population of Serbia is dominated by the old yes it's dominated by the old and um of course the young people very old like very the young the young ones like the kids i think they are of a, a bit of a population closer to the old people and the youth they're like very few okay and so yeah well i think statistics also show that Serbians are not giving back a lot because like their birth rate de is declining but like for the past five years it's been declining and I think the death rate has been increasing by like just a little. And so, of course, the death rate is, it makes sense because the majority of the people here are old, of course. So they, they probably will be dying. And so, yeah. And then the, the youth are not really giving birth, like giving birth to kids. So they're not giving birth like my country, like they give birth to like 10 people. One person can give birth, one family can give birth to like 10 people. <laughs> Same here. It's like a family can give us like a one and two. Like that's 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 for them. That's still for them. And so like here, yeah, you're seeing that. What am I driving at? And so I see that decision making in this country is done by the old people. Okay, so in my country, there's a proverb that says that what a man no i think it's nigerian proverb it's a nigerian proverb it's what a man will see an old man will see sitting under a tree a child will not see even if he climbs the iroko tree what does this mean it means that of course the old people have experience and they are able to of course appreciate life better and make good decisions and so of course we are supposed to listen to those people when they talk but the other side of the coin is that and so yeah that's a, one advantage with the old people make, making decision for 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 the young okay so of course most likely that they're going to make the right decisions mm, that's that's how i think in in my country we believe in that that oh the old people make but the other side of the coin too is that you know our generation is like shifting like generations are shifting and every generation and their taste of like things they want and and the adventure they bring in and so i'm just figuring out or seeing things as the things that the old people might have they like the kind of lifestyle that they are comfortable living the young people will not be comfortable living because like they want to rock shoulders with the world like they are their world is different and so why would you give me this if i want this and so probably this is going to be like where the conflict is. And so I realize, I see that a lot of like 
like Serbians are not people who are rushing to build houses. So you Serbians will even tell you that when you come to their country, you want to be rich. Like you cannot make him um, like a, a million dollar here, all right? But you will be okay living here. And I think I see that because of course you'll be okay living here, but you probably will not be making money like making money like making money like making money. Like making money, 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 money. money. Yes, of course, and of course, we have there the 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 the, the few is is the marginal who are making so much. Of course, these people are there, but like I'm looking, we are looking at the all the population. Okay, yeah. For this reason, you realize that the the youth in Serbia they do not want to stay here in their country. Their dream is to go to Germany, most of and not Italy, London. Yeah. Because like um they probably feel like they were going to get like their life, that life, that luxury from that part of the world because of course this place they are not really having that feel because of course their people their their, their their parents are like okay with their lifestyle here. So yeah, that is going to be a challenge. And so my issue is like if you the young people who are supposed to make decisions for the country like you just dream of traveling to italy or germany or um london whatever country that you want to go to to have to stay have a comfortable life there probably come back here when you are old or something who how do you then get to really make decision for the country like decisions that actually incorporate your own will Okay, so for instance, decisions such as voting. Okay, did you like the president in power? Yes. Did you vote for him? Maybe yes. But the truth is, who makes the decision? The old people. So if the old people are more, of course, if this is what they want, that is how it's going to tend to be. And so, yeah, that is one side of a coin. But <sighs> as I was saying, yeah. This is the state of the second economy, in my view. Inside about the infrastructure, development here in Serbia. So, past history, of course, Serbia has been through phases of war. And so, when you get this in the country, of it, and, and it's, it's evident, you see it when you get into the country. Because, for instance, uh, you see old buildings, very, very old buildings. And um, especially in the old part of Belgrade, yeah, you see very, very old buildings. And uh, but the good news is that Serbia is really catching up fast with the world because ever since like I came into this country, I have seen like development projects, north, south, east, west, which is very to me is like something that I really admire. Because, like, for instance, in my country, I, Africa, Ghana, this is Ghana, don't worry. For instance, in my country, like, you, you would come across, like, a construction of, like, a road. And it takes, like, three years, four years before it's completed. And I get into Serbia, and I think when we got to Banita, I think that was a stretch, and they were having, like, a construction on Banita, that's Avala. We are going from Banita to Avala. And then... After a few, few months, like, was it was like a few months, I went back to the place and like, they, they are done with the construction of the road, like, everything is like set. I'm like, how did this people do this? And there was a time I also saw like a, a main, like a town road already, but like, I think they were renovating it. And it was like, it took them just over the weekend to renovate it. And the next, like, the next Monday, everything was like, then I was like, these guys are serious yeah so like yeah and that's that's that that's the good that's the good indication that i see yeah yeah so i'm i'm seeing that new buildings being constructed especially in the new part of belgrade it's very very beautiful um new moors construction every day new moors not just new moors um so i think the Serbia is constructing a new airport yeah and so they are uh, they are it's been financed part. Is it partly? Not sure. 
but I also heard that it's been financed by a foreign uh, company, which um, is, is positive. I think that most of the development projects are being financed by like other countries their support and other things so for instance when you watch my video on um the video i did on the saint sava church it was i think the, the the completion of the whole decoration was done by russians and so yeah so this gives me an indication how probably the current government in serbia here has a very good or uh, maybe serbians have like very good relationship with like the world because like if not so you wouldn't be getting like such deals you see i think yeah so basically ta, ta. another point is that serbians have the culture of loving what they have and then consuming what they make and that is really a unique character that i appreciate with the, the people in serbia because from where i am coming from when it comes to things that has to do with us they don't want it they want things to be import, uh, imported they want things to be imported they want things to be imported ah to the extent that ordinary threat you'll be surprised my country is importing them everything literally everything everything tissues they can't even make tissue they're importing tissues and so that's how about like our places with regards to that aspect but i see that okay even if serbians do not have something that or this country doesn't have something that is up to standard like people don't like the truth is they love it because it's their own and they embrace it i don't think um serbia is part of course Serbia is not part of their european union they do not have the of course that 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 the international exports right is it exports or import international imports and exports is not is not it's not yeah i don't think they are signed up for that and so how do you do you think the Serbians survive here they make what they they eat they enjoy their music you'll be surprised that it is only Serbia that you will not hear do you know the current afro beats yes yeah, it's, it's from africa shout out to all nigerians shout out to Burna boy shout out to westcat shout out to Ghana. shout out to Lisa. <laughs> shout out to some judges okay but you know afro beats is from nigeria and um it's taking over the world like we see the vibe with it the, the whole world the the worst in part especially they are enjoying the music but Serbians are not even you will not go anywhere and hear Afro music. No. Serbians are just consuming consuming their music. And of course their music is beautiful. I love it. I love Sesa. She's my she's my favorite um whatever you think it did be. I don't know much about her, but she's Sesa is my favorite musician. This song of first can I sing for you guys? You guys wait the we video I'll sing it song set up for you guys but for now, yeah. She's she's my favorite. So I really like the culture of the actually embracing. So another point too is that they are really hard working people, okay? And so um <laughs> I'm surprised that even I I was I was doing this work and then I see steps are working like with so much energy that much i don't know because i was actually i wasn't i wasn't for that like, because i was struggling the stress was doing but they were doing it like mm, it's just it's just that easy and i was like okay so they are very hardworking people even though like the old people they are there are a lot of old people all over. the good people are working you will see them when you go to the, the bars, the restaurants. You will see them when you go to, um, like where they sell food, especially in the other places. That like they are really, really, really working hard, and you see the energy they are putting in, and they, they are not acting like they are old and on. They are not working, and then one thing too is that they are really time conscious. You are supposed to report on time. If it's eight, it's eight. Not the African time, because I. <laughs> When you tell me that she has to report at 8, I am coming at 9. Uh, yes, this is African time. But unfortunately for me here, this place, like everybody, like everything is on time. And I think 
that is what increases productivity and so if if you hard working if you're working on time making judicious use of time of course productivity is increased gdp is increased no wonder no wonder that the savings per capita income is bigger than that of my country even though ghana has the, i think 32 million people and Serbia has like seven no less than seven around 60 something but let's see approximately seven million so yeah shout out to you guys you're doing well okay so all that i can see is that really i think they are, i'm seeing some positive future vibes and um, indicators for that leads to like a good outcome in, in the future and then also some negative vibes and all i would tell the youth in serbia is that look guys get involved get involved get involved in nation building get involved in everything get involved in your country okay get involved because you are the future so yeah that's it thanks for watching the video it begs block look i bring you this and more every every week <laughs> Every week, dear guys. Thanks for watching Facebook. You know, I love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs>